Hi everybody. Today we will talk about a low pass filter, RC low pass filter, and we will see its behavior in time when the input signal is a square uh, square pulse square pulse train. So first of all, we'll build the circuit. We place our voltage source, source, which is our input signal, then a resistor and a capacitor. We close the mesh by wiring all the components. We add ground. and we give values to our components. We start with a voltage source. Source. We want to, to have a square pulse strain here, so we right click, DC value zero volt, and then we click on advanced. Advanced, we select the pulse function, initial, initial voltage, zero volt, let's say two volt, the amplitude of the pulse, delay one millisecond, price time smaller than the duration of the pulse, so we say 0 0.01 millisecond, same thing for the fault time, 0 0.01 milliseconds, we stay on for one millisecond on a period of two milliseconds and we fix five cycle, five periods, okay, with this line we have defined our input voltage source. We define now the volt, the value of the resistors, we fix 100 ohm and one microfarad for the capacitance with the letter U standing for micro. micro. Okay, so we now set the simulation, add simulation command, trans analysis in time, we want let's say 10 millisecond time vector, and basically that's it, and we run the simulation. We have our horizontal axis consisting of 10 milliseconds, and we first plot the input voltage, which is actually a pulse strain between zero and two volt. We expand with the right click vertical axis to see the entire waveform. We have one millisecond on, two millisecond period, and zero to two volt amplitude. We plot now the output here of the filter, and we rescale again, and we see the typical waveform at the output of a RC low pass filter. If we increase the RC value of the filter by increasing, for example, the resistor value, the shape of the waveform will change accordingly. The filter will be slower. We run again the simulation. The, rep the response of the filter is now slower with respect to the previous case. Again, we can rescale the vertical axis. And again, if you, we increase again RC value, we will see the difference in the shape of the waveform. And again, for example, this. On the other a range limit if we decrease below 100 ohm which was the initial value we will have a faster response response like this so we come back to the first to the first case we've seen in which our resistor is just 100 ohm run the simulation and we calculate our time constant in this case. In this case we have R equal 
100 ohm T equal 1 microfarad so that the RC time constant is equal to 10 to the minus 4 seconds which means 0 0.1 milliseconds this was the case hey have you seen then we have changed the value of r for higher value which the resistor was increased to 200 ohm so that in this case we increase increase the time constant and again we've also seen r equal to 300 ohms which also correspond to another increase the change of the time constant is related to the shape of the waveform in this way as far as we increase the rc time constant the filter response is slower with respect to the to the input waveform 